Hi, I'm Roddy Campbell, the Chief Steward at Gayfield. I've heard yesterday the passing of one of the ex-managers, John McGlashan. And I worked with John for at least four or five seasons down at Gayfield. And he's one of the few true gentlemen that I've actually met. He always had time to talk to you, he'd sit in your chin wag, he'd jest with you. And he's going to be sadly missed down at Gayfield. I know he, he left the club, but once you're a member of Gayfield, you're a member for life. It's going to be hard to understand that a bloke at John's age has passed away. Um, he's, he'll always be a, a die-hard lichty. I know he come from Dundee, but he's, he'll always be regarded down at this end as a die-hard lichty. Thanks. I was a great lad. I was like John was a brawn man. He was a brawn lad. Brawn lad to speak to the send his feet of all anything. I thought the world of him. I was a great, he was a good manager of our brawn. Good player, eh? I, I was just a sodish way, but that's the way it was. Don't worry. Oh, okay. I'm from Dave now. Thank you. I'm a manager of our brawn. He played as well as married. That's right. He got his promotion. It was one year we nearly got promotion. We had to win the Derry tonight. We do. We should have had a pair of that. He was manager 2005 to 2009. Four years. Good manager. Nice, nice lad, gentlemen. He was a hard player. He looked hard, but he was really nice lad. He's done a lot for the kids. Street football. I started the, the show Street Football in Dundee. And that's where that's from strength to strength. Uh. Uh, John McLaughlin is a supporter and a friend. Uh, absolutely devastated. Uh, regarding what's happened. Uh, he was a brilliant player at Arbroath, always gave 110% and even he become manager, he, he got the whole town involved with the club and even when he left the club he st stayed in touch with his supporters like myself, we become good friends and to be honest I'm absolutely devastated <coughs> and uh, he was like a, a brother to me and uh, I don't know what else to say. He'll, he'll always be within our hearts, the Arbroath fans. And he, he is a true Red Lifty uh, legend, that's all I could say. I feel sorry for his uh, family and he'll be sadly missed. Yeah, I you, John. John used to bring his young lad, young John, along to our uh, coaching sessions at Canoosti. And he, he, he was a lovely guy. He never, even when he left Arbroath, he was always had a good word. To, for our broth. He actually um, recommended Simon Murray to our broth, which you know was great for our broth and we used to go up and see Danny Pell and an ex our broth player with him and he was just just a nice man. Nobody nobody had a bad word for John, you know, he was one of these guys, just a a super guy, you know, and sadly missed in at fifty I and mean, that's that's very sad. Sad news this week about John, total legend that Art Roth, gentleman, classy guy, on and off the pitch. One of the good things I would say of many about John is that he came here, did a great job, things went a bit array for him, ended up being replaced, took it on the chin, never said a bad word about a Roth football club. Actually, as Hamish reiterated earlier, we wouldn't have got Simon Murray without the nod from John, so God bless him for that. He was always thinking of our growth in his heart. And it was a testimony of the guy that even after being sacked by the club, he never said a bad thing about our growth. And he's always going to be remembered by everyone. So, rest in peace, brother. This is his ex-manager, your yeah. baby. <coughs> Have you maybe said that? You're, you're, you're the one who signed John. Yes, yeah, uh, sir. Uh, John had come up from Rotherham United to Dundee, he signed for Dundee and uh, he wasn't getting a, a regular game and I'd approached uh, Jockey Scott, I think it was, 
and asked if he'd, uh, we could get him on loan. He came in the last three months of the season to our uh, did fantastic for us. Uh, and at the end of that season, John, we, we'd asked John to sign, but he, he, he wanted to try and stay full time, so he went up to Ross County. I basically got a phone call about three months later saying, you still want to sign me, I'm, I'm hating up here. And uh, it took a bit of doing to get him, but we got him, and, and he was a fantastic player for the club. Uh, and as everybody said, he's a fantastic boy, he was a great kid, you know, and uh, uh, he was a super boy. And I just felt so sad when I heard the, the, the news that he'd passed. He was also, of course, went on to be the manager of Arbroath, and, and uh, through all that, he, for me, he's a true legend for Arbroath Football Club. He also, my, my old club, Tayport Football Club, he, he, he became a manager there as well, and I actually preceded him after. Uh, I'd come back for Lenothgo, I think it was, and uh, we've always been great friends and spoke on the phone. And sadly, recently, he'd, I think he felt he wanted to keep his illness quiet, and it was a shock to everybody when it, you know, it actually came out. So, uh, you know, just to reiterate what everybody had said, uh, absolute legend, the gentleman of a man, and he'll be sadly missed. Thanks very much. Thanks for you all for doing that.